Thank you. Thank you. Reasserting Colombia as the closest U.S. ally in Latin America, Antony Blinken did not, however, skirt over the issue of human rights. The country's right-wing leader, Ivan Duque, has raised eyebrows among U.S. lawmakers over his mixed record on peacemaking following decades of war and over his response to civil disobedience. Uh, we agree that accountability is critically important. Uh, accountability for the most grave human rights violations and abuses committed during the country's conflict, accountability for any abuses committed in response to protests earlier this year, and of course, accountability for those responsible for attacks on human rights defenders. Blinken's maiden Latin American tour aims to shore up democracy in the region, as well as to address the migration crisis. His talks with President Duque came ahead of a regional ministerial meeting on the issue. As a growing number of Haitian refugees has become a major source of concern, especially for Colombia, which already hosts more than one million Venezuelans. Pero quiero también agradecer cómo Estados Unidos ha aportado también recursos con desembolsos mucho más rápidos que otros países donantes para atender situaciones de la comunidad migrante en nuestro territorio. Meanwhile, Venezuela's president Nicolas Maduro called for the normalization of economic and diplomatic relations with Colombia. Maduro cut ties with his neighbor in 2019 after Duque refused to recognize his government and helped Venezuelan opposition politicians deliver humanitarian aid to the population.